now start. This is Andrew from Steady State Fate and William from. He, he can't hear me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is William from WMD. Uh, and this is the uh, SSF WMD monolith keyboard and the new modules that we've collaborated on over the past year. Uh, so, the, uh, this is the key scan module, which is basically the uh, controller for the keyboard. Uh, you get one volt per octave and one volt per octave glide. Uh, there's gate outputs, uh, velocity, and, and aftertouch as well. Um, this is Spectrum. Monolith co comes with two Spectrum modules, so you can do um, FM or use one as an LFO. Um, Spectrum is a saw core precision VCO. Uh, it has an eight octave switch. It also has a saw and a square sub octave, and you can choose between one and two octave divisions. Um, it has your basic waveforms, pulse with pulse width modulation, triangle, sine, saw, um, and there's also the uh, two hybrid waveforms that are uh, in, in between a saw and a pulse wave, and, th and those are both affected by the pulse width modulation as well. Uh, one volt per octave input and linear and exponential FM input with attenuator. Uh, I think that's everything for Spectrum. Uh, this is the blender. It's our, it's our mixer. It's based on crossfaders, and you have uh, two, two input crossfaders with their own outputs, and then a third voltage controlled crossfader that can crossfade between those two outputs or whatever you, you want to patch into the direct inputs. Uh, pole zero is our filter. It's a 24 dB per octave low pass filter. Uh, it has resonance control and um, a bipolar attenuator for CV. It also tracks one volt per octave. Uh, and it also has a saturation control for, it's a MOSFET VCF, so you get a really warm saturation, which really accentuates the bass notes, uh, which is really nice. And there's also a CV input for the VCA as well. Uh, this is Ultrafold, which is our wave folder. Uh, it's, it's a classic kind of wave folder, but we added uh, an offset control to get asymmetrical wave folding, uh, which affects the harmonic content of the signal that you put in. Uh, there's also a feedback control that does bipolar feedback. It also has an auxiliary input, so you can put another oscillator or CV into the feedback, which is really interesting. Um, everything's voltage controllable on that. This is the toolbox. Uh, it's basically like CV and, and audio tools, just really useful things that you might need in a patch. Uh, there's, a, there's a sum, which sums two voltages, a rectifier, a bipolar comparator, inverter, uh, analog OR, which is maximum, uh, and, a, and a voltage controlled uh, toggle switch. Uh, XPO is a, is a polarizer and offset generator. Um, it also has summing inputs, so you can put two inputs into each po polarizer. Uh, it's great for CV, you know, just doing basic patching stuff with, with CV. Uh, Mini SLU is our SLU generator. Uh, it's based on like the surge dual universal slope. Um, some new things that we added to that are our voltage controlled over the shape response. Um, and there's also a time compensation option that you can turn on which keeps the, the, the timing of your envelope relatively the same rather than going to log and having a really long envelope. You can do that if you like, or you can turn the time compensation on and, and keep it within the relatively the same timing. Um, there's also a, a regular envelope out and a variable output, which is a, basically a polarizer for the envelope. Uh, and you can voltage control that as well, so you can get bipolar envelopes happening to make LFOs out of the envelopes. Uh, the last new thing is on the CV sum, you can either patch, well, there's a rise CV and a fall CV, and if you turn the sum on, what it does is you can patch one signal into either the rise or fall, and it'll send that to, to both, or you can patch a signal into each rise or fall, and it'll sum them together and send, and send those to both. So just a little extra functionality there. Uh, there's end of cycle, end of rise, um, an FM input, and uh, there's also a cycle mode, and uh, you can trigger the cycle on and off with a gate. Uh, this is the buffered mult. It's basically just a buffered mult with an LED in indicator, bipolar, so you can see what the polarity is of the signal that you're putting into it. 
Uh, this is our passive attenuator, four attenuators. And this is the ADSR VCA. Uh, it's an ADSR with an integrated linear VCA, so that removes the need to have an external VCA. Uh, there's also an external CV input, so if you want to use the VCA separately from the envelope, you can do that. Uh, it does attack decay cycling, and it has a number of different modes for the, for the attack decay. Uh, this is Amplitude. It's a transistor-based VCA with, with, with a lot of saturation. Uh, there is a CV attenuator, offset control, there's a linear exponential manual control, and there's also voltage control over that parameter. So you can voltage control the shape of, of the VCA CV, and there's a, a direct output for that CV, so you can patch it out to other modules. And the last module that comes with the keyboard is the levels module. It's basically a headphone and output, so that you, uh, there's, a, there's a stereo left-right output and a headphone in the back and inputs and direct outputs so that you can patch out to your modular system uh, from, from the module as well. Well, the modules are in production now. You can expect the, the individual modules to start shipping to dealers within the next few weeks. And the keyboard itself is in production and you can expect to see those probably by the end of the month, you think? Yeah. So this is um, the key scan is controlling the, the pitch on the VCOs. Uh, they're being mixed through the blender, and some of the outputs are... Some of the outputs are being mixed. Is it still going? Uh, some of the outputs are... Some of the outputs are being mixed in, into the filter and then mixed back with some of the oscillators and, and, and the wave folder.